Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we're checking out this, um, okay, right, so, uh, this is a Mertax build. I, I don't really know how to pronounce this, I'm gonna go with Libre. 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 Yeah, we're gonna go with that. It's a German company, I believe. So, um, yeah, we're gonna be taking this, we're gonna be driving it over to the dock, and we're gonna be picking out, uh, a boat from the water. Um, it's one of my old boats, it needs, uh, renovating, so we're gonna go ahead and lift it out of the water and put it on the dock. Um, now I was also thinking that maybe we could do with a heavy load truck and trailer as well. Um, and that might be something that we'll come back over for. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and drive over there in this thing. And then we might come back for uh, another truck to put the boat on top of, which would be cool. Alright, so, first things first, let's go ahead and turn the key, there we go, beautiful, and we'll rev it, there we go, look at that, we're revving, running lights, awesome, beacons, yes, and headlights, we probably need all of those things, uh, we've also got cab lights, we've got heaters, yeah, we're ready to go, go ahead and turn that off, go ahead and get into gear, and let's go, yeah, alright, cool, we do have an all-wheel steering button somewhere, there we go, so we can actually turn a lot quicker, uh, which is way better, there we go. Uh, I'm also going to turn off the running lights or the headlights because they're very bright. They are very bright. Um, and we don't necessarily need them. So, yeah, that's good. All right, cool. We're driving. We're driving. Let's go ahead and change up a gear. My speedometer says 18. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's go ahead and change up a gear again. There we go. Now we're only going 14. I'm going way slower. I'm going way slower. All right, there we go. I, I guess that's because we're going uphill. That makes sense. Kind of. Alright, there we go. We'll go back down at first. Uh, alright, cool. Things are happening. Throttle override for gen mode. Oh, I see. Alright, don't really know how to use that. Also, don't know why my voice is going really high. But, uh, it is. So there you go. Anyway, we're, uh, we're on our way over there. We'll be there very soon. Okay, just a fair warning for you guys. If you ever do encounter a hill in this thing, then, uh, you might slide down it. You might Tokyo drift down the hill. Um, like I'm currently going sideways now and I'm supposed to be going forwards, but that's okay. Um, I guess it's because this thing is actually quite heavy. Uh, it doesn't really have that much grip, I guess. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and park it in the dock. Um, just, just next to the dock so that we can lift the boat out of the water. And I guess we could try and put the boat on something, but I don't have anything currently. Um, I'll have a little look in the workshop and see if I can find something. Uh, and, and we'll see where we can go from there. Currently, oh, Tokyo. Currently, oh, currently Tokyo drifting down a hill, uh, as you guys can see. Um, I need to go left. I need to go left. Yeah, here we go. We're almost there. We are very close to being there. Can I fit through this little gap, or am I gonna drift into it? I might Tokyo drift into this, uh, into this skip right here. There we go. Let's try and get through that little hole. We're still sliding sideways. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, I really, really, really do not want to go in the water. Uh, so we're gonna go down a gear, so that we're a little bit more controllable. And we're gonna have to try and park ourselves in this little gap right here uh but yeah again we are tokyo drifting so we might not be able to i'm gonna try and get my my butt as close as i can to the edge and we're gonna park right here that seems good that seems okay to me all right let's go ahead and lower this down let's go ahead and turn the key off um right okay so far so good there's the little boat down there as you guys can see uh, it is like a little speed boat it's one of the first advanced vehicles i made uh so there you go all right cool go ahead and turn that off and yeah, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and get outside. Cool. Let's go ahead and get inside the operator cab thingamabobby. Let's see if we can even climb up in here. All right, we'll just go ahead and jump inside. There we go. Close this off. Warning lights. Work lights. Cab lights. Boom lights. Yeah. Outriggers up slash down. Extend until wheels slightly lift. All right, cool. Stabilizers in, stabilizers out. Here we go. All right, the stabilizers are coming out of the sides. That's amazing. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so they're not fully out, the outriggers, but um, they're pretty close to being off the edge on the right-hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and probably just drop them down from there. Let's go ahead and do that, actually. There we go. Bam. Um, extend until wheels slightly start to lift. Like that much? All right, cool. Go ahead and turn on the magnets. And uh, boom, out. Yeah, sure. Let's, let's do it. Let's go up as well. There we go. Beautiful. And start making it go sideways. Yeah, very nice. There we are, nice. Alright, cool. Um, so as you guys can see, the boom is actually relatively big. 
Um, we can make it come in if we want to. We can make it go out if we want to. And we need the cable to go down as well. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll attach it straight to the boat. Yeah. I don't really know where the center of mass is on the boat. So I'm just going to try and attach it anywhere and hope for the best. Um, I'm assuming that it'll be okay if we go ahead and drop it right in between here and there. Yeah, that's probably good. That's probably about right. Let's go ahead and try and uh, boom in slightly. If we possibly can. Boom in. Uh, boom in. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and lift it real quick. Uh, just like this. Alright, and then drop it. There we go. All of them should attach now. So all we need to do is do this. There we go. We're all attached. And lift. Alright. Okay, cool. This is where things get a little bit interesting. The cable's gonna have to come up. Uh, and we're gonna have to... Okay, we're... it's already in the air. It is literally already in the air. Um... This crane is incredibly, incredibly strong. Oh, it just fell. Oh, the magnets aren't strong enough. I see. This is going to be tricky. It's going to be very tricky. All right, let's go back down and try and pick this thing up again. Okay, there we go. We've probably done quite enough there. Let's go ahead and try and lift her again. Oh, I think there's only two on. I think there's only two magnets on. Let's try it anyway. Let's try it anyway. Come on. There's a lot of force in this. There is a lot of force in this. We might even need two of these cranes. Also, I think I have slid off. Slightly. I think I have. Yeah. Right, let's try and pull it onto the onto the shore. This is actually a bigger boat than I thought uh, in the first place. So yeah, we're going to try and lift it up a little bit and slide her onto the shore real quick. And then we can grab it in a better location whenever it's on the shore and uh, put it on the back of a lorry. Yeah, there we go. Or a truck, sorry, for you American guys. You American guys out there. All right, go ahead and lower it out the sky. Here we go. Make sure it is staying on the on the land, and it'll be down very soon. Yeah, amazing. All right, there we go. Beautiful. It is laid on the floor, so we we are, we're good. We're good for right now. Um, this is my boat in case you guys haven't seen it as well. The air intakes and stuff are right there. This is my first advanced boat, I believe. Um, the propellers are like death traps right there, and um, it is actually surprisingly stable in the water, if I remember correctly. A bunch of these things are backwards. Like, that says one, but it is actually zero. Um, and yeah, that's the throttle. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a semi or a lorry and uh, bring it over here and try and get this boat onto the back of it. Okay, so I'm assuming this trailer is probably not big enough. Um, it does look cool, though, so we're going we're gonna to attempt to use it anyway. Um, can I lift the legs up? Is that a thing? Can I actually lift the legs up or not? Because, I mean, this thing looks cool, but uh, if I can't lift the legs up, then then what's the point? <laughs> if I can't lift the legs up, then what's the point? I feel like I might actually just delete the legs at this point. Um, the, the guy that made this hasn't made a, uh, a truck, so yeah. Okie dokie, so instead of using that other trailer, we're going to go ahead and use this one. Now, I know it's not big enough. I, I know. Um, but what I'm going to attempt to do is to just use this like this and hope that we can fit it on the back somehow. Now, I know it's going to fall off or something like that's going to happen, but I guess we've we've got to try. So that's what we're going to do. All right, go ahead and close the door. Go ahead and push the button. There we go. And off we go. We're driving. We're doing it. All right, yeah, this trailer is definitely not big enough. Definitely not big enough. Uh, gear? Does that change it into reverse or does that make us go faster? Makes us go faster. All right, awesome. That is a higher gear. That's great. Uh, we got reverse right there. We got parking brake. Uh, we got air brakes. We got clutch. We got lights. Lights? Are they on? They're on. All right, awesome. Yeah, we'll be over there very soon and uh, we'll try and put the boat on the back. Okay, we've had a few problems. Okay, okay, right. We right. We're not gonna do this. this we're, we're not gonna. We're not gonna do that anymore. Um, yeah. What in the world? Why in the... Why? Why did that happen? I do kind of want to use this, but I know if I use this, then one of those is going to get picked up, and I'm going to have to do it all again. So instead, what we're going to attempt to do is we're going to go ahead and lift it back up. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and jump inside there. Uh, we're going to disconnect this for now. We're going to try and put it in a better position, okay? Here we go. Let's go left a bit and we'll put it between there and there. There we go. Go down. I can move over this in person on foot. So let's just go ahead and drop it all the way down onto the deck. There we go. That is pretty good there. Let's go ahead and maneuver it. Here we go. Climb underneath here. Jump onto here. Pull it over. All right. We could probably use these to pull it around. 
Yeah, that seems like a good location right there. All right, we do need to like lower it a tiny bit more and then it'll be good. It'll be really good. Also, I love the detail of this crane. It's really nice. It is real nice. There we go. Beautiful. All right, cool. We've lowered it down a little bit more. We can probably just push it. Nope, we can't. Okay. Go ahead and do this. Here we go. Grab you. Bring you over. Put you right there. That's decent, I suppose. Yeah, we'll go ahead and push you sideways. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's good. That is good right there. All right, cool. We need to go ahead and turn it on. Like this. Now we're connected via four of them. All right, let's lift it into the sky and we'll see what happens here. All right, cool. I do kind of want to boom out as well. Boom all the way. Did I undo this? Did that just do it itself? I think it just did it itself. Oh, well, that's upsetting. I just put it in the right place. All right, boom out. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We are getting... Whoa. Uh-oh. We're getting pulled over. Cable up. Come on, let's see what, if we can pull it up. Yeah. We're lifting it. We are lifting it into the sky. Oh, it disconnected. I think my boat is a little bit too heavy for this crane. A tiny bit. Let's get a different boat. Let's get a different boat. Seems like a better idea. All right, there's the little boat that we're gonna be picking up this time. Yes. It's like a little, it's not like a speed boat per se, but it's like, um, I don't know what the, the thing's called. I don't know what they're called. Uh, it's just a boat. That is, that is exactly what it is. It's just a boat. Now it looks like we might have a little bit of a problem with this one because it is quite far away. Uh, let's go ahead and boom out. There we go. As far as we possibly can, we'll go ahead and like boom down as well. And that might be able to reach. Now, obviously the problem with booming out this far is that we're going to have a lot of weight very far away from where uh, the crane is. And also the leg that's supposed to be supporting that side is dangling off the side. So, uh, yes, we're going to have a few problems. Just a few. Uh, but that's okay. Here we go. We should be boomed out all the way. And if we can just attach one, that would be good. If we can attach more than one, that would be even better. Uh, right, okay, boom, out. Can we go any further? I don't think so. All right, let's go ahead and attach it. Here we go. Crane attachment. All right, good. Are we on? Are any connected? None of them are attaching. You are touching the boat, and none of them are attaching. All right, drop it. Okay, bring it backward. No. Okay, maybe now. No, it, it, why? Why isn't it attaching to this? Maybe my boat's made of wood and it's just not connecting. Yeah, that makes sense. But it's it's not actually connecting. Um, That is a little bit strange. That's very weird. Did I break this thing? Maybe it's because the uh, it doesn't have any power. That might be the case. I need the generator running. Yeah, have I messed this thing up? All right, key. Uh, no, I have as well, haven't I? Wait, no, I haven't, no, I haven't, no, I haven't. Switch to generator mode. There we go. There we go. I think that's right. We are generating power. Is it attached? It's still not attached. Why? All right, I'm jumping back inside. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and lower it a little bit more. There we go. Are you attaching now? Nope. We're gonna go ahead and get in my little boat. I don't know whether it was built in advanced. I'm not even sure it's an advanced boat. And we're gonna we're gonna push it over. Here we go. Push it over. Push it. Push it. Yeah. Push it real good. Nah, that's totally not working, is it? Look at that air inlet right there. That's crazy. Um, right. Drag this this way. Hey. Yeah. Hey, hey. Whoa. Whoa. No. Oh. Hey. Come back. Come back. I need those. All right. Good. Yes. There we go. We're attached to the little boat. Finally. Jeez Louise. Um. Oh, I wish I had a ladder to get up there, but I don't, so we're going to have to go all the way around. We're going to lift this thing out of the ocean, out of the water. Seems like a good idea, right? Or not. Okay, little crane, you've got this. You can do all of the jobs in the world. Here we go. Right, let's go ahead and lift her up. Here we go. Lifty, lifty time. There we go. We're only connected by two. We know that already. That's okay. Here we go. We're lifting. We are fully lifting it out of the ocean, and we're going to swing it around. There we go. We've lifted it all the way up. Beautiful. Now, that truck over there could probably cope with putting this on its butt. But, um, the truck is on fire. So, 
It, it, it wouldn't cope with putting this on its butt at the minute. Let's just say that. Yep. There we go. Oh, we've just dropped it. We've just dropped it. And that's why you don't sit underneath cranes in real life. Um, because they drop things. So, there you go. Anyway, um, it was just a quick test to see what this thing was actually like. Um, I do have a picture of this thing picking up my Ural, which is pretty awesome. Um, and yeah, that was built by Servotac. This was built by me. This was built by Cheese Booger. Cheese Booger. And the trailer before, I can't remember who it was built by, but I'll go ahead and link it anyway. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we've messed around with the crane for a little bit, and um, it's a pretty cool one. It is a pretty cool one. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.